All right guys, so today we're gonna be comparing and contrasting the Index versus the Quest 2. So in the first part of the video, we're gonna be going over pros and cons of the Index, and then in the second part, we're gonna be going over pros and cons of the Quest. All right, so now into the Index part. So right off the bat, I'm gonna say this. I prefer Quest over Index. Unless you're talking about YouTube manners, I always prefer to record on my Index rather than Quest because it's just a lot more clean and easier to record. But in terms of gameplay wise on Gorilla Tag, definitely the Quest 2. Now, some pros of the Index are you can go faster in some places, but the physics are a lot different. For example, on Index, you can run insanely fast on the ground just because the tracking is just crazy on it. So you can go a lot faster and I'll show you that now. Ready, set, and go. So you can run pretty fast on Index, and you can also just speed up a lot faster on Index. But it's hard to change directions, really, because if you're like going really fast and then try to change, you don't really get a solid hit. At least, I haven't learned how yet. <laughs> Tracking wise, obviously the index pulls this one. Your hands can go behind you everywhere, everywhere around you, because you can just put whew, tracking. You can just do, do, whew, whew, whew. the track always. So the tracking is pretty good, but then again, it can be too good. For example, on the walls, you can't move your hands too fast or you'll just slip off. Oh. Hi, Doug. I don't know what your name is, the other one, but that's all right. All right, so now let's go up the wall. So as you can see, your hands have to move pretty slow on Valve. And, like, it's really slow. But on Quest, you can just fling your arms as hard as you want. The harder, the faster, but you can't do that on Valve. So then again, I prefer Quest on the walls. And now to branching. This one's pretty obvious. I'm always going to prefer Quest for branching because the index tracking is kind of like kind of overrated for branching. You get stuck a lot because the tracking is too good and you know it, it's just like that. Especially the cable. The cable's a big problem because you can only like bleh, and then you can't turn anymore without twisting your cable and that's bad. That means you have to use your stick. So yeah. I can branch now, but it's... Uh, wait, I can't branch. I'm terrible. Ooh, I got stuck. Ugh. Like so. So the branching, you can do it, but it's just really hard with the cable. Instead of like focusing on how you're playing, you're trying to focus on not breaking your cable. It's pretty bad. This headset was built for high quality VR games, so not Gorilla Tag. So don't expect to just play Gorilla Tag if you're gonna get this headset. It is not worth it in any way. The only reason I got this headset is for you guys. Okay, so for the summary of the Valve Index, the tracking is amazing it is overall a great vr headset but it is not necessarily meant for gorilla tag so don't expect that if you're going to buy one and now let's go to the quest all right guys so now let's compare my quest so the first thing we're gonna see once again would be ground um i think i'm a little faster on ground not too much so i mean we'll see three two one go That's my absolute fastest I can go on quest. So actually, I might be faster on quest. Maybe just because I'm used to it. I don't know. So ground on quest, you can really just move your arms as fast as you want and have no like no problems with it. But on Valve, if you move your hands too fast, they just just makes you mess up. So all right. So now we're gonna do walls. I prefer quest because I can go straight up, like everywhere <laughs> on quest so i can just go like this up to there 
And then I can do it over here too. I can do it on this wall, which is my favorite because it's the most fun. Oh, wait, I'm bad. All right. So that's quest, ground, and walls. And now the thing that will be the most different is branches. So on quest, you can do a lot more on branches because you can turn. So on valve, usually you have to stay one direction, things like that. But like uh, on quest, it makes strike baking possible with that. And it makes it like, like you can do multiple instead of only doing one. Like you can on Valve and then getting tangled, so. So on Quest, I can branch a lot better and faster. For example, things like this. Like you can just branch a lot better on Quest, in my opinion. Because you don't have to worry about cable. And you can get long jumps. You can do whoa, whoa, I messed up. <laughs> you could just do y'all thing. You know? <laughs> I'm better on the quest for branching, for sure, in my opinion. So so in my opinion, uh quest is definitely better for a competitive side of Gorilla Tech. But Valve, if you're just trying to chill, have fun with your friends make content things like that valves better so it's really just a preference thing i definitely prefer quest i'm just way better on it um maybe i'll get better in valve over time but valves just for youtube honestly i'm not trying to get better on it really anyways if this video helped or you like this video make sure to like subscribe join my discord link in the description there will also be cgt and gtc discords in the description if you aren't in those go ahead and join them they're comp leagues, so, you know. Anyways, that's it for today's video, and uh, peace.